Hi guys, welcome to strategy class on how to improve your weekend session. I've taught more than 1000 students in the last two years. The biggest thing which I find common in everyone was everyone who got one week area. Anyone who got 99.9 .9 percentile, he'll have one week area. Everyone who is getting 70 percentile, he'll have one week area. So all of us have one week area. Maybe some of us have more than one week area. So today I'm going to talk about how to improve your weak area. Alright. It's not an easy task to improve an area. And if you are weak in one area, quant, di or verbal, it'll take you one month to improve the section. Alright. So I'm going to give you a one month plan of how to improve one section. So try to implement this thing one month before your CAT or any other exam. Don't implement this in the last few days. Alright, it's too late for that. So please keep one month margin. So it will take you one month to improve one section. Not less. It might take more time, but not less than that. All right. So please give enough time for yourself. So if you are reading this lecture, if you are listening to this late in the in the exam, so please don't do it now. It's too late now. All right. So give one month time to improve the section. All right. First thing I want you to remember is from today onward. You are not going to talk about quant is your weak area or di is your weak area or verb is your weak area. Every day I listen to hundred of these things. I am weak in quant, I am weak in di. You are not at all weak in one quant. In quant. All right. And if you want to ask me how to improve quant, it's impossible for me to tell you how to improve your quant. What I am suggesting now is break it down into topics. All right. The so first thing which you have to do home today, go home, is open up your uh, notebook and do your SWOT analysis. Alright, first thing. So how to do your SWOT analysis? Number one, write down all the topics which are there in the section. For example, let's take the example of quant. Alright. List down all the topics which you can find in quant. If you really remember them, wonderful. If you don't really remember them, open up any book and the index you'll find all the topics. So write down all the topics which you can find in quant. Second thing is their importance in the exam. How important this topic is in the exam. All right. It might be very, very important and not important. If you want to build it, wonderful, do it yourself. If you want a handmade given, then go to facebook.com slash ravgun, R-A-V-G-U-N, and you will find this kind of a SWOT analysis in my photos. So please download that and start filling it for your weak area. I've downloaded, I've uploaded it for quant, verbal and di all these things i uploaded three sword and analysis which you can do which you can do yourself all right number one topic number two importance number three is this a weak for me average for me or strong for me or good weak average strong all right so go home look at each and every topic numbers geometry Equations. These are the three most important topics. I'm going to start with this thing as an example. So, in this three topic, go home and find out: Are you average? Are you weak? Are you strong? Whatever you are in those areas. All right. Once you fill this thing, first thing, don't do it on the basis of what you think. Okay, you might think logarithms is very very tough for you. Indices is very tough for you. But when you actually start solving a cat question, you will see it's much more easier to solve. All right. So it will become an average, not a difficult. So don't mark this thing on the basis of what you think you are, but on the basis of some of the questions you have solved. All right. You might think it's tough, but it might not be that tough. Once you have done this analysis, you'll be surprised to know that you are not weak in all the areas. You are weak in very, very few topics. So on an average, 33%, 33%, 33%. So you are weak in only 33% of the area. Now these are the 33% of the topic. For example, in quant, these are the six or eight topics which are making you think you are weak in quant. All right. So ask your bad. From now onwards, you are not going to talk about I'm weak in quant, I'm weak in DI, I'm weak in verbal. I'm weak in one particular area, geometry, equations, numbers, whatever it is, RC, whatever topic it is, DI, calculation of DI, whatever topic you think you are weak in, so talk about the topic. If you ask me which topic I am weak in, I can tell you how to improve them. 
All right. I can't tell you how to improve your quant, but I can tell you how to improve your geometry, how to improve your equations or numbers. All right. So that's what you have to do. First thing, first is to find out where you are weak in. All right. Then we are going to target this thing. Now let's see how to improve this thing. How to improve my weak area. Oh, you got a call in the middle. So to cancel the call. Sorry about this. All right. So now let's see how to improve this area. Let me start with geometry. I call it a five-day plan. to improve topic geometry or whatever is your weak area i'm going to give an example of geometry to start with all right five days now if you have enough time for five day geometry numbers equations wonderful if you don't have enough time you can reduce it to three days do everything in three days basically so five parts i would say so geometry what are the five parts for geometry day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 day 5 and i want to dedicate it 2 hours every day for each of this area part number 1 do only basics you will see i am more more a more more emphasis i give on basic because it's very important to solve your basics before you do anything else all right basics plus solve examples because it's a weak area you will find it difficult or maybe tough to solve the solve example as well so what i want you to do is do not solve it as a question solve it just read through them all right so solve example you have to just read through them relax don't do anything don't use any pen just read go through line by line the basics and go through line by line the solve example just go through them all right first day we'll spend two hours on this that's it all the formulas by end of the day you should know all formulas You should know all solve 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 example by heart. All right, day two. If you are doing time ka book, you will see CRQs, critical review questions. If you are using R S Agarwal or Arun Sharma, you will see LOD one. Or in I M S ka book, you will see first few questions of I M S are easy. So first say thirty questions are easy. So we'll start with those thirty questions. Day two, do only these things. Do only easy questions. All right. This is just to give you an idea about how to solve a question. All right. The first two days, if you've seen, I'm not doing talking about cat anywhere. I'm just talking about easy question, just understanding, get familiar with the person or the topic. All right. So first day, do basic solve example. Second day, critical questions, important easy question, basic questions, LOD one or easy, anything which you find easy. Third day, day three again spent two hours. On doing LOD two for Arun Sharma or time if you're following time card do five A five exercise five A and do around fifty questions. Thirty questions, fifty questions. Similar thing second third day LOD two ka remaining questions and third day difficulty level three. So you are going to touch the CAT level questions only on last day. All right. I don't want you to touch the CAT question in the first four days. The problem is, if you do CAT question day two, you will again start feeling sad or feeling weak about that area. So don't do CAT question at all. Do basics, easy questions, then LOD two, and then last day do the CAT question. And trust me, at the end of five day, you will feel yourself that you are improving the topic. All right. This was example for geometry. For quant, for example, if you are weak in quant, only thing you have to do is geometry. numbers and equations do these three topics only geometry numbers equations you don't need to do anything else for quant all right for more information please go to uh, facebook.com/ravgun r a v g u n thank you